Welcome back to another Brick Mini review where we're reviewing the family truckster. The dog hanging off the side. But first and foremost, let's get a close up of that. So here the bad boy is, a very, very in cool, unique model by Brickmania. And uh, we'll get a little bit of uh, specs behind it right now, but uh, first, we're just going to show this bad boy off. It's a very clean and cool model, and um, you know, it's it's really cool. And while we're down here, let's just show off some of the features, and then we'll get to the specs, the, you know, the boring stuff later. But you can open the doors. The steering wheel kind of fell off in there. Um, you can open up this and uh, also did I mention there was mini figures yeah this set really does have it all um you have Clark Russ Audrey mm -hmm. and then Edna Ellen Ellen anyway but um get a top view of that and you uh, can put your mini figures in there so let's say you have you can put her in the back and then Russ and be doing, yeah. And Clark up there driving. But, uh, that's why I've displayed it. And there's, um, so you can shut the door. There's a ton of stickers here. They have, like, a really high quality custom, uh, really high quality custom sticker pack. Isn't that right, Dave? Yes. They have the, uh, the fake wood and blocky lips. Yeah, everything right from the movie. This does come from the movie National Lampoon's Summer Vacation. Also, if you remember a certain scene, you can uh, recreate that scene. But that might be a little bit too uh, too much for our 13-year-olds who are watching. <laughs> winky face, winky face. Winky face, winky face, if you know what I mean. But um, anyway, so that's the model, and let's get into some specs about it. All right, so that's the... Uh, good close-up. We'll probably do one more in at the end here, but, um, so what type of vehicle is it, Dave? Well, this, of course, is from the movie National Lampoon's Summer Vacation. Summer Vacation. That edition. Which the critics detested, but pretty much the whole world loved. Yeah. One of the reasons I loved it was because of the iconic family truckster, or the, what do they call it, the the, the, the wagon queen family truckster. Yeah. It's a 19, it's a mod 1979. out. 1979. 1979 Ford. Uh, Ford LTD Country Squire. And in the movie, they made it in a hideous pea green metallic. This is insane Sand green. green. One of my favorite colors, by the way. And they also have what I call milk blue. And um, dark green and dark blue they have back there. So it's really awesome colors in my opinion, but in, this, in uh, the movie it wasn't that great of a color. The station wagon became kind of the star of the show. It was involved in wrecks, it was vandalized, it kind of was the center point of the whole the whole movie in a way. And uh, probably the best known scene and I've is heard. When, when Aunt Edna dies <laughs> and a transporter uh, they put her, yeah. They put her in a rocking chair up on top of the roof. Um, so... Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's well it's worth dark, checking out. It's a 1983 movie starring yep. Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo. And it's really? kind of an unusual departure for Brick Mania because usually they this do military This kit was, uh, has 428 pieces, retailed for $280, a little bit pricey, but with four classic, genuine, good Lego printed uh, minifigures. It came out to be a um, pretty good set, but 280 is a little bit overpriced, but when they bought... Bleh, when they knocked it down, 50% off, it was retailed for $140, and that is a steal, my friends. That's anything when we made anything our under $150 from Brick Mania is. Now. For those of you looking for the military. Uh, attributes of this vehicle. Well, it does have some. You could mount Chewbacca up on top with his crossbow and have him uh, sailing through the countryside. Yeah. Just saying, or you can mount you a machine could do gun. That. You can mount a machine gun up there. That pretty much your imagination is. Is your limitation. Limited. Yeah. So, uh, looks like Chewbacca's stand got stuck on this thing. And this red thing accidentally came off. Do you remember where it was? I kind of shoved that in there more than I should have. Yeah, like you do most things, Dave. Anyway, it's uh, 
It's a fun kit. And did we show off the minifigures already? Yep. We did. So, They're not that detailed, to be quite honest. Like, yeah. Yeah, but They're still. But this kit was designed in 2017, believe it or not. One of the early models from Brickmania. Uh, really not, but... Comments don't judge me too harsh. That, uh... <coughs> lack of, uh... Anyway, um, it was designed by Jesse uh, Muller. Muller, yeah. 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 Good job. Fun build and a little piece of uh, I don't know. American Americana, right Americana, there. Americana, yeah. 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 So stay tuned for more Brick Mini reviews for more Lego content. But thank you for watching this one. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And what else is there? Like, comment, subscribe, share. Commiserate, yeah. celebrate. Yep. Tell your friends about it, and I guess we'll see you on the next one.